guess I can try and look. I mean, I want to impress her. <sighs> okay, I can do this. Uh, 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 this is stupid. Why are you even trying, Aaron? She's not gonna look at me that way again. She's past me. Still, I have to try. All right. Time to head back. Aaron, I know you're here. The least you can do is say hello to your mother. How did you know? My mother just knows these things. That, and we got a call from the school saying you had left the campus. What? You guys are keeping tabs on me? It's our job as your parents. I'm in college. You just can't... Quiet, Aaron. We have every right to know where you go. Be grateful at all that we allowed you to leave the city to go to college. <sighs> oh, right. Your father wants to see you in his study. What? He's very upset you left without saying a word to us. Now go. Mom, I... Now, Aaron. Good afternoon, sir. Aaron? Mom said you asked for me. I did. Close the door, Aaron. Aaron? Why did you decide to come home? It's spring break. It is. But you had told me you were planning on staying on campus. Yes, sir, I was, but I changed my mind. And why did you do that? I was just homesick. The truth, Aaron. I also wanted to see a friend. A girl, am I right? Yes, but how did you know? You went to prom last year and you had a date. We may not have time to spend with you, Aaron, but we have eyes everywhere. Sir, I can explain. Aaron, what have I told you? Do you not understand the situation you are in? <laughs> you are my son, and with that comes a great responsibility. You are not ready to be with anyone by any means. So I knew I should have kept you in that military school. I knew this would happen. Dad. Excuse me? Uh, sir, I, I can't help the way I feel about her. Well, you better start. You, being with someone, Aaron will not happen for all our sanity. I take comfort in knowing that whoever this girl is, she's left behind from you. It's best for both her and you that you forget about her. Now, go to your room. I want you to head back to campus tomorrow night. Yes, sir. won't give up. I need to see her tomorrow. I just need to see her smile. All right. Today is all for the werewolves. Today is the day you are picking your alpha off now. Principal Layla, 
Mr. Gavin, I don't need a whole day to pick an outfit up. I just need time. And- No, off now. No. It's been far too long since the werewolves have had an alpha male, and frankly, I'm tired of hearing about issues with the werewolves because of the lack of one. Your responsibility for all of today is to see to it that I don't have Mr. Gavin barking up my tree about these issues any longer. Was that a pun? Mr. Gavin! This was supposed to be a quiet event for just me and the werewolves who were interested. Well, too late. It's already organized. So, do whatever you need to to pick an alpha, okay? Okay. Now, if you need me, I'll be in my office. But I... Or no mind, half mouth. Honestly, that woman seems to have an alternate agenda. She's been ignoring many of my requests to initiate better teaching methods, so I doubt she cares about this. Anyway, do you have a plan in mind for how you're going to pick an alpha? Um... I was just gonna talk to them, and... Boring! What? I mean, that's all fun and dandy, but there has to be a physical aspect to it. All the werewolves in the school didn't get out of class to watch you talk about feelings. We want to see action! Like last year when you and Aaron went head-to-head -head in the sports festival. Oh, yeah, but... Which is why we helped Mr. Gavin set up an obstacle course outside. Where'd you guys come from? We're always here for you, Afmo. That's right. And today we're here for you by punching the face of productiveness and making an obstacle course for the guys to run in. But I told you guys yesterday that I just wanted to talk to the world, guys. Yeah, but come on. Please, Afmo. There will be fun. Plus, it will be easier for you to choose. Yeah, you can base it on both feelings and strength. That way, whoever you pick has many chances. Well... Please! <sighs> All right. Yay! Yay! But you guys gotta make the challenges good and fair. We will. We will. Oh, we will. <laughs> <sighs> You're too nice to them, you know. <laughs> well, they were really nice. They were almost Omegas last year, you know. Huh? Yeah, never mind. Just know that they're good kids with your interest in mind. Anyway, I'll leave you be to wait for the guys to show up. Remember, once you're done in here with them, bring them outside so we can have our trial. All the werewolf kids are out there and celebrating, so they'll want you to join for sure. Make us proud. I will. At least I hope I will. <laughs> you will. Hey, Af. Think you're ready for this? <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I am. I just hope the guys I talk to are nice. <laughs> Being nice isn't in a werewolf's nature. I think it is. I just think most don't know how to express it. <laughs> Maybe. Either way, good luck, Af. Hey, Ian? Yeah? Have you ever thought about trying? Trying to what? Being Alpha? I think you might stand a chance. Uh, uh, me? Alpha? Well, I would be lying if I said it didn't cross my mind, but I just... Excuse me, is this where the werewolves want to be Alpha me? Yes, sorry, I should have put a sign up outside. <laughs> alpha, it is an honor to be summoned by you. Now, now, let's not get too formal. <laughs> I'll leave you guys alone. I believe this is the first time we've met. My name is Afma. It's nice to meet you. Raven. My name is Raven. <laughs> cool name. Much cooler than mine. I beg to differ. It's unique. I see the other werewolves are starting to show up. Maybe I should have answered her. Hey, Kai, was it? Hmm? Oh, hey, it's you. Ian, right? I hope you know Afmao's busy right now. She's in there getting ready to talk to a few werewolves about being alpha male. I'm aware of that. I found one of her posters. Plus, she talked to me about it. Good. 
Then I'm sure you know how important this event is for werewolves, so it's best you not interrupt. I'm not interrupting. I'm going to participate. Huh? What? I want to be alpha of the werewolves. Uh, <laughs> You're a funny one. I'm not joking. I'm going to help her. What? No! Stand down, Mayfoy. There is no way someone like you would be allowed to be alpha of the werewolves. They also said that humans couldn't either. But look at the alpha female now. Stop making a mockery of us. I'm warning you. Aren't you the Omega? Then you should know your place. I'm warning you. Then why don't you be a good friend and help her when she needs help? She's been talking about how hard being alpha is, but you aren't standing up to help her out. At least I haven't seen you do anything but stand there. I've been there to help. Then why aren't you going to help her now? You're leaving. Why the sudden interest in helping Athmau now? Because I care about her. And I should have realized it sooner. <laughs> I was just going to get her something. I'm actually going back to help her. So please, leave. Are you actually going to help her? Yes. Now back off. Fine. You can't stop me from attending the werewolf games going on, though. So I'll be seeing her there and cheering her on. <sighs> she won't need him to cheer her on. She's got me. On a great hair day, I feel that little bit stronger. My hair won't bring home the title, but feeling unbreakable sure can. Because the power of hair isn't just how it looks, it's how it makes you feel. New Pantene Grow Strong helps reduce hair loss for stronger, longer hair. Pantene, the power of hair. Okay, so, Blaze, Raven, and Evan? Are you guys the only ones showing up? Afraid so. We've been fighting for the Alpha position all year. Some weeks one of us win, and we're the Alpha for that week. We're always changing. That is until you pick one to be the absolute Alpha. I'm still getting used to werewolf rules. Sorry. No need to worry about it. You're the first Alpha that lasted for more than a year, so we're all a bit confused on how to handle this situation. It's really nice of you guys to be so understanding. Thank you so much. Hmm? Uh, where's Fenrir? Well, after yesterday, he uh, kinda gave up. Well, you did toss him out a window. <laughs> I did. Hey, Athmau. Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to come help you. Ian? <laughs> Don't tell me you're gunning for Alpha too. Uh, no, I'm just here to help Athmau. But, Ian... Really, I'm fine. Now, let's begin. Now, first question. If two or of pups are fighting over a frisbee that they found, but none of them own, what would you do? Well, I'd tell them to stop fighting. Then I'd punch them. Not right up the frisbee? Then punch them. No, oh, that's easy. First, I'd have a talk to them about how arguing isn't the right way to get things resolved. Cooperation is key. Then I'd have them cooperate and punch each other. Please! Question number five. A werewolf sweetheart couple are fighting and it's causing a scene. What would you do to stop them? <gasps> and you can't say punch them. Aww. 